I'm here at the Paris Air Show in my favorite part of the GE Chalet, the 3D Theater, where we're featuring a film on our adaptive cycle engine. You know, people always ask me, what does it take to build an aircraft engine? Well, watching this movie got me to thinking about what does it take to make a 3D movie? The 3D video requires an incredible amount of computing power and time to actually create. With 20 computers rendering simultaneously, it takes over 4 hours per second and over 240 hours per minute to make the actual video. Engineering has to first produce the 3D files that they would actually use to manufacture the product. From there, they transfer the files over to our 3D agency. Then the 3D agency takes those files and they actually dumb them down, they simplify them. We've, we've pulled all the CAD data in, we've added the materials, the textures, the lighting. Everything is technically accurate, so that's our starting point. And then once we have the model, we start brainstorming the concept. Um, once we have an approved concept, we move into script, and then the hard work begins. You have to have a lot of knowledge of art and technology and be able to tie it together. This scene is a sketch of what you're going to get, and then when you're done sketching and you've laid out your scene, then you have to go in and actually do all the painting. Well, the, the computer does all the painting for you based off all of these commands and all these um, parameters, you define it, so then when it does the painting, that gives you the nice finished image. Basically what we're dealing with is two cameras, and those two cameras are your eyes. So we have all the ins and outs of anybody's regular camera, except two of them and they have to work together to make the 3D effect feel real. We have what, what I think a lot of people would consider to be really big computers with 48 cores of computing power. We also have a render farm that we utilize with, with about 700 cores of render capacity. Engineers work in small components, you know, and then they're plugged together when they're made. So usually when we take a model early on and put it together, it's the first time anybody sees it which is kind of cool and um, also very difficult. Collaborating with the Air Force as well as the GE military team um, has really brought a level of excitement to this project. Obviously we had to be really buttoned up, everyone had to be focused um, on the end game um, to turn something around in this tight of a time frame and they have been great to work with. One of the things again that has been most exciting about this project is the ability to take something that is very technical and to tell the story in a way that is very engaging. We see it every stage of the game, so when it's just a sketch to halfway painted to fully rendered, it's nice to be able to show people, this is what I've been working on for the last six months, and, and have them really be like, wow, how'd you do that? That's what we want them to feel like. Wow, this is huge, and GE is the right company doing this. I always like to see people's reaction to this movie. They feel like they can actually sit there and touch the engine. How cool is it to see Third Stream in 3D? It makes me so proud of our entire team working on our adaptive cycle engine.